about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know In the previous episode, Camilla joined me and we moved on board B3. We did some boat work and used the warmest part of the day for some sightseeing. In this episode, we were robbed and we did some sightseeing while waiting for the documents and for our cruising permit. Trugir has a lot to offer and one of the things that we really enjoyed is that everything is very compact within a walking distance. For instance, it's all down. It's incredibly charming and so exciting to just walk around these uh, charming streets. Maybe a little bit uh, like a tourist trap, but still, I would say it's mandatory to pay it a visit when we are in Trugi. <laughs> In the end of this waterfront promenade, you will find Camarlengo Castle with a breathtaking view from this tower. And for a fair price, you can enter this 15th century fortress and climb all the stairs to the top of this tower. Tower, you can see why Trujillo has been included in the UNESCO list of world heritage it's for its Venetian architecture. Sitting next to the channel, you will find these coffee bars, the fruit market, and on the other side of the road, there is the fish market. If you rent a scooter or a car, you can discover places like this. It's cheap and it's also the fastest way to get around. However, you should be aware about the traffic in Croatia is really dangerous. really recommend a tour out to this old monastery with a breathtaking view and just an epic location. On our way 
coming back. We spotted this awesome little place and we wanted to check it out and go for a swim. Later in the same evening, after delivering back a rented scooter, my iPhone was stolen. So we run back to the boat, um, pick up the iPad and start tracking the phone. The phone was uh, moving around and um, uh, after running the streets of Trogir for uh, about two hours, I was pretty close from time to time and started the alarm and with no luck I changed strategy and was going to have a conversation with the police and to my surprise they really took this seriously which I would never done in Norway. Then I come up with a good idea. Let's offer a reward for the one that find my phone and it turned out to be a success. For approximately 100 euros, I got my phone back and saved me for a lot of problems. So we rushed back to the police and explained the situation, which they did not understand. Um, but anyway, we um, were happy and the case was closed for our side. Next episode will be a maiden voyage. Um, we finally can leave Trogir with a cruising permit. Um, my friend Thomas uh, joins us for sailing. Hello! Hello! <laughs>